Welcome to another session of advanced Microsoft 365 course guys I am Anjit Rawat your online instructor and uh, in this class I am going to help you how we can manage the users group multi-factor authentication and SSPR service over our Azure Active Directory as we discussed in previous class with the help of Azure Active Directory we are able to manage lots of services related to Microsoft 365 Microsoft Azure, Intune, and Azure Virtual Desktop. The theoretical part we have already completed. So I'm going to list the uh, previous video in I button. So you just need to go through the theoretical part because this class is fully related to the practical. So we'll try to complete each and every options which are available on our Azure Active Directory dashboard. So let's move ourselves to the dashboard of Azure AD and try to understand about the concept. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical without sk sk skip any steps. This is Office 365 portal and I'm just going to open admin center right because uh, if you want to open the intra admin yes now the azure active directory become a intra admin and you can also say that they change the microsoft change the version of our active directory means active Directory v2 which is applicable for only server 2016 19 and uh, 2022 i'm talking about the azure ready connect tools v2 in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, we just need to click on Identity and it will redirect you on the page of uh, uh, Microsoft Intra Admin, means uh, Azure Active Directory. Okay, so it's mandatory. We need to configure multi-factor authentication. Not, not an issue. I'm just going to activate the multi-factor authentication. Okay, this is the panel of Azure Active Directory and it's our responsibility to understand about each and every features which are available in this particular dashboard. So let me click on the users, click all users, you will find the number of users that you have already created and it will also give us option to create your new users. So multiple method we have, so let me show you some steps, some method that can help us to create the users. Like whenever we click on the new user, it will provide a two different option. One is create new user and another is invite external user. The gap between new user and external user, you can consider new user means you are trying to create a user directly with the help of your own tenant. The meaning of external user, whenever we create any kind of guest user account, right? You want to add some user for temporary basis for few days, for few months. So that time we can proceed with the external user. And uh, the another option which is related to the download the users, if we have a n number of users and you want to know about the, uh, the attributes of our existing users, so you need to download in format of CSV file. Bulk operation that help us to create multiple user on single click means you are able to create up to 249 user on single click with the help of CSV file. Bulk invitation and bulk delete option. Three different options are available. They are self-explained, but I'll show you the steps how we can create a bulk user. The another part which is available in this particular panel per user MFA, multi-factor authentication. Yes, it's additional security that we are able to configure for our existing user. So do one thing, let me create uh, multiple users with the help of bulk operation. Just need to click here, go to the bulk operation and it will give you one uh, example file so I'm going to download this template and uh, by using this particular template, we are able to create multiple users. But make sure if you have a multiple domain, so make sure which domain you want to use to create your user. Like in our case, uh, this is teachmecloud.net. So yes, I'm just going to create the users with name of teachmecloud.net. Open your, uh, what we can say, say that template of CSV file and uh, after that we need to provide the information about our new users that you want to create right so wait for a few more seconds and then we'll provide the information about our new users this is the template file uh, in format of csp so already available the examples are all, uh, all already available like as a uh, this is the name and this is complete name included with the 
the name of our domain that we added and you need to provide the password. I don't want to block our users, so you can proceed with no. So let me create few users like as I wanted to create a user with name of GCP and uh, GCP at teach me cloud right dot net password as per your requirement you can proceed with any password I don't want to block so one second user I want to create with name of Azure Azure at teach me cloud dot net right And one more user just wanted to add with name of Tata use, right? Tata at the day, teach me cloud dot net. So you just type, you need to provide the information about the number of users that you want to create. And again, you need to save it in the same format, right? In CSV format. So I'm going to save it, save as in format of CSV. Type the name of your user, bulk users, okay. I want to save it on desktop, bulk user, I want to use another name, 1988, okay, save it. Once you add the information about the user in CSV file, back to this panel again and go to the bulk operation, click bulk create select the files that we created the file that we created bulk user 1988 we successfully uploaded the file and click submit it will take up to 30 to 40 seconds and after that we are able to find the entire users that you added in our uh, csv file so this is the process that help us to create a bulk user operation in azure active directory right so I hope you guys are able to understand about the concept of bulk user or bulk operations. Okay, we need to check the issue, what exactly happened with bulk user. Okay, one user created and two user we face the issues okay no problem I think we need to change the username click on the user icon all user and verify the GCP user and Azure user both are created successfully right so I think the uh, Tata user we are unable to create a Tata but GCP and Azure both we successfully created both are attached with teachmecloud.net fine this is the way that we can use to create our bulk user. And now let's talk about the multi-factor authentication. As per the name suggests, the meaning of multi-factor authentication is related to the dual security or second layer of security that you want to apply for our active active user or 365 user. To activate MFA, click on th three dot, click on the uh, per user MFA and uh, it will redirect you on another page like this. I'm going to select um, uh, MFA for GCP user, select it and click enable. Click enable multi-factor authentication. Within second, we activated the multi-factor authentication for GCP user. And now this is first step. Second step, users need to perform their own task. The client responsible to perform the second task. <coughs> Think like uh, as a client, we just need to sign in and uh, gcp at teachmecloud.net provide the password okay no problem let me reset it Okay, I need to reset the password because uh, 
unfortunately i forget the password for gcp user so let me reset it and meanwhile we'll give you the steps to configure multi-factor authentication so you have already activated the mfa from the back end from admin center and now this time user can uh, uh, proceed for the next step because he need to set up their own contact detail right he need to establish their own uh, uh, Microsoft Authenticator app. So I'm just going to proceed with, I want to proceed with different way. This is the QR code that you need to scan through your mobile phone. So in this case, what you need to do, you need to download one uh, uh, software. The software name is Microsoft Authenticator app. So let me scan it. Just give me one minute. You need to scan the code. And click continue. It will provide you six digit of code just like as a OTP. So I'm going to provide the detail that I received in uh, my mobile application means Google uh, Microsoft Authenticator app and click next. We successfully authorized, we successfully activated the multi-factor authentication for our GCP user. We need to create new password. It's mandatory because uh, in case of temporary password, which is applicable for one time. And in, in, in first term, uh, you need to reset your password. So we successfully activated multi-factor authentication for the MFA. I hope you guys are able to understand about the procedure to how to convert, how to create a multi-factor authentication for our existing user, right? So in this class, uh, what are the topics that we completed? We discussed about the users, how we can create user, how we can create bulk user by using the CSV file and we successfully created the multi-factor authentications. So that's it for today's session. We'll connect tomorrow and discuss more about the Azure Active Directory services because in Azure Active Directory service, we have a lots of topic that we need to cover. So let's connect tomorrow and discuss more about Microsoft 365. Take care guys. Bye-bye. And do subscribe here on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye.